professional arborists measure diameter to estimate many things about the tree, such as canopy size, the extent of the roots, or the age of the tree. We all need to take the measurement the same way to be sure the data is accurate. It's easy, I'll show you how. Diameter is the distance across a round object. Since that is not easy to measure on a tree, we measure the distance around it, or circumference, and calculate diameter from there. You don't have to do any math. Just enter the circumference in the urban forest map and we'll calculate the diameter. You'll need a flexible tape measure like one of these here or some string and a marker. Also, have on hand a small thumbtack and some paper and pencil. Measure trunk diameter four feet six inches off the ground. Figure out where that is on your own body. It's different for everyone. To record a small tree with a single trunk, Wrap your tape around at four feet, six inches from the ground. Pull the tape tight and record the measurement where the tape overlaps. Round your measurement up to the nearest inch. We're gonna call this a 15 inch circumference tree. If you don't have a tape, use a string. Mark the place where the string overlaps with your marker. Measure the string to the mark later on a ruler, yardstick, or carpenter's tape. For a larger tree, you may have to throw the tape from one hand to the other. Tree hugger! If you can't reach around the tree, use a thumbtack to secure the tape or the string into the bark. Don't worry, it won't hurt the tree. Some tapes may have a little hook or a tooth that will do the same thing. Then walk around the tree. Just make sure that the tape stays at the same level all the way around. For a tree with a lot of lumps and bumps on the trunk, we don't want to include those in the measurement. This lump is at four and a half feet off the ground, but instead I'm going to choose the narrowest point anywhere below four feet six inches from the ground to take my measurement. When you're measuring a tree on a slope, you need to measure four feet six inches from the ground from the midpoint of the slope. Not the highest point and not the lowest point. If the tree trunk has a lean in it, take your measurement four feet six inches along the plane of the lean instead of from the ground. On some trees, the branches may emerge from the trunk lower than four feet, six inches from the ground. In that case, we want to measure the narrowest point on the trunk below four feet, six inches. Do not include any of the flare associated with the branch. Measure clearly below where the branches emerge. A multi-trunk tree has separate trunks all the way to the ground. With a multi-trunk tree, you want to measure each circumference separately and record each separate measurement. Do not add the numbers together. If the tree has a vine growing on it, just pull the tape as tight as you can and record the measurement you get. Don't try to make up for the vine by recording a smaller measurement. Enter circumference on the tree mapping website here. The tree mapping software will calculate your circumference measurement to diameter automatically. That was easy. You know, the more data you report, the better the urban forest map can serve you. So why not get a friend or neighbor and go out and measure trees in your neighborhood?